Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning everyone. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the importance of plant reproduction. But in this video, I will be not in it. Okay, but I have provided you a picture of me. So, let's start. In previous video, we have discussed that there are six ways of reproduction in plants. There are seeds, suckers, spores, underground stems, stem cutting, and leaf. As I said before, the reproduction in plants are to ensure the plants are not extinct. Okay, so, but, sorry, but, why is it important to ensure the plant is not extinct? Number one, plant is food sources to other living things. Just like this picture, a baby gorilla is eating the leaf. There are also animals that eat leaf like pandas and herbivores that eat only plants just like we have learned before, like koalas. Also us, humans, eat fruits and vegetables as a part of our daily meals. Okay, so what happens if there are no more plants in our daily meals? in other animals daily meals so what happen is we will be malnourished what is malnourished malnourished means we didn't get enough nutrients in our body okay food like uh, fruits and vegetables provide us very important nutrients especially to animals that are herbivores just like orangutan Look at the orangutan. He is sick and very thin because he did not get enough nutrients. So, it is important to ensure the plant is not extinct because it is food sources to other living things. Next, plants also provide habitats as shelter to other living things. Just like this, is a nest for birds okay it is to protect them to shelter them from harsh weather such as rains and other predators like tigers or monkeys from getting their babies or eggs okay there are also other animals that live in the tree such as orangutan and koalas and also some monkeys okay without the trees they have nowhere to live so they have to live on the ground just like in this picture orangutan where orangutans live on the ground when they live on the ground they are exposed to dangers such as uh, other predators tigers panthers snakes and even humans so if they don't have any habitats to shelter them from weather and other predators, he is, they might die. Okay, they might die. Number three, plants also provide oxygen supply to all living things. All living things need air to breathe, and plants produce oxygen. Okay, oxygen through process photosynthesis. Okay, this is not air, but this is water vapor. But it's just to show you that animals just like this tiger is breathing. Also, this deer breathing, and of course, human. Animals, um, animals, humans, and also plants need air to breathe, and without plants the qual the air quality will be become bad okay just like in this video there are no plants so the air will become the air quality will become bad number four plants also provide wood supply to us what do we use woods what is the use of the wood supply so the first one is we use them to make furnitures such as in this picture or the in this picture 
but did you know wood also can be used are uh, used to be uh, used to make into papers so without wood there will be no wood furniture and also papers all right let's re revise what we have learned number one plant is food sources to other living thing number two plants also provide habitats as shelter to other living things number three plants also provide oxygen supply to living things and number four it also provide wood supply these four are the importance of are the importance of plant reproduction especially to other living things all right for homework today, there are two pages that you need to complete. The first one is page 47 and 48. In page 47, list the importance of plant reproduction that you can identify in the picture above. Okay, look at the picture and list down four importance of plant reproduction that you know. In page 48, just color or underline the correct answers that's all for today bye